Okay, um, next in this series of interviews, I've just managed to catch up, well, managed to catch up with him currently actually staying with Christopher Warburton. Um, he's actually going home today from Villamore. He's just completed a uh, two week stint in Villamore and he's kindly joined us just for a quick thoughts on just catch up and seeing how things are going and his thoughts looking into the summer. So, as I say, Chris, you've been two weeks out here in Portugal, Villamore, as your preparation for the summer. Just want to just let everyone know how things have been going while you've been out here. Uh, yeah, um, no, I've been delighted with the sort of progress over the last uh, two weeks um, in terms of training. Uh, I was getting probably fitter and fitter leading into the uh, camp away from a sort of average uh, winter. It's been a bit of a struggle really. Um, but then sort of we've moved sort of closer towards doing a bit of quicker stuff, um, more sort of track orientated reps, um, which I felt a lot more uh, a lot more comfortable with and a lot more at ease with. And sort of it just started clicking the last two weeks, which it, it always tends to do at this time of year for me going away in warm weather, which I find that's why I find it so sort of important in, in terms of the build up towards the rest of the season. Um, so now I've been delighted with sort of the times and the, and the sessions we've been doing, maybe similar to the previous year, so now I'm happy with where I'm at and yeah. it's been Good, because obviously personally I can see, like I say, from obviously living with you and training with you, the preparation has gone really well for yourself, and it's obviously particularly encouraging because if we rewind sort of 12 months ago, it was sort of a completely different scenario where if we take, actually take it back to two summers ago, 2008, you'd sort of, after you made your big breakthrough you running 339 in 2005, it was sort of 2008 was where you were getting back sub 340, uh, third at the Olympic trials, so obviously that was a highly successful season. Went on into that running 341, was it indoors, which was a European senior qualifier. qualifier. Unfortunately, then it was in that indoor season that you picked up an injury, and this time last year you're actually away in Flagstaff, but unable to prepare for the summer due to the injury. So, do you want to just talk about that period, like say, where it was sort of you proved that the 339 wasn't a fluke in 2008, you were right where you belonged at the sort of the four British running, and then as things to be going, you're having a great winter, and then suddenly injury curtailed and last year some of you just had the frustration of managing to get back a bit but unfortunately never really making an impact on the on the scene. Um yeah well I was delighted with um no I was really pleased about two thousand eight when it was a really good season for me. Um again like you say when it's a three forty was, was nice I was starting to think since two thousand and five when I did sort of make quite a big breakthrough. Which looking back was obviously not not a bad thing, it's good, but then if I want to make that big breakthrough, then you've got to build on, on from that again. Um, so I did sort of struggle for a couple of years, and then I did get injured in 2006. Um, again, when I, again, I was going, so as I got to that level three, four, under 340, and I was looking to push on and get that next level, and then I got injured um, in 2006, which was again similar to what happened in 2000 and, um, yeah, 2009 last year. Um, so it, it, it was really frustrating getting injured because I just say I thought I was in that in, that indoor season I thought I was in, in, in the best state probably I've ever been in and running 341 off a couple of prep sessions and a couple of races was obviously really really good and I was sort of mixing it with guys that, that went on to run sort of 336 outdoors and, and obviously that's what, that's what I was looking to do um, but then unfortunately we tread fine lines, I've been training, training quite hard and my, my body sort of broke down again and I got my stress fracture in my navicula. Um, uh, initially it was only going to be, they said, they said two weeks of stress response and, and it should be back so I was relatively hopeful I was still getting in a decent summer last year um, but unfortunately it just, it just sort of carried on, never really fully went because I was initially told two weeks for two or three weeks, I never probably fully rested it and gave it the recovery that we needed. Um, and therefore that just prolonged the whole process in terms of it, it getting better. Um, and then I tried, to, I tried to get back into fairly... I tried to get back for the summer, but in reality, looking back in hindsight, it, probably wasn't, gonna, it wasn't quite going to happen. Um, and uh, I managed to sort of get uh, 348 and went to 38 trials, but I wasn't fit and it wasn't it wasn't an enjoyable time. I think. Yeah. Having so much promise, um, and then sort of took a break, and now sort of moving on to this year. And hopefully, hopefully we're over that now, and hopefully I can. Oh, well, I'm I'm just happy to sort of that I'm back running well, yeah. and I'd like to get back within the top sort of 
six or seven guys that we've got at the minute and if I manage to do that then I'm, I'm happy with that for the time being and then move on, move on Good. Like next year. It's nice of you to touch one, like say sort of top six or seven because I think perhaps what was more frustrating for yourself last year was it was perhaps no disrespect to Jermaine Major, quite a shock winner of the three A's, unfortunately obviously the birds badly in Langshu. They're not miles apart, but they seem to be our strongest two fifteen hundred metres runners. And like safety, someone like yourself after the summer you had in two thousand and eight, having to essentially just watch uh, Jermaine take down that title, but then also there's been this influx of under twenty threes and up and coming athletes like the Lee Emanuel, David Forrester, Ricky Stevenson, I've seen Mark Draper run on the indoors now. So it's it's not Whereas you could perhaps argue after 2008, you perhaps were sitting on around about roughly number three, number two, number three spot. Now, obviously, you're not sure where you are, but what are your thoughts on getting stuck in and amongst these guys who, who ran really well last summer and sort of where do you think you'll fit in, in terms of that? Um, comparing it to my personal point of view, as I've had such some time sort of sessions, they've been very similar to what I've been in previous years. So I like to think that I'm around... Um, 340, 340 shape, um, anywhere around there, obviously good race looking to try and win a um, I like to look back in 2008, I was, I was with those guys, obviously they, they've moved on, they've taken, they've taken steps and moved on last year and then again probably this year um, to where they were, but I like to think that I was, I was sort of ahead of Stevenson, ahead of Forrester, um, sort of ahead of Brewer, um, so certainly with those, with those guys, so I'd like to think that um, I'm, I'm still there or thereabouts. So I think it's, I mean, I think it's really, really good. To put the in the I was going to say, if we take it from the positive stance, it's you can't relax, can you? Because, no, not at all. like I say, there's he's quite, but particularly the Commonwealth in particular, I think it's 340 dead. We're talking, the shot's got around about eight or nine guys who can potentially get in, and obviously you fit into that fold. So, looking ahead at that, what what are your sort of targets? Are you is it the Commonwealth? Is it the Europeans? Is it just getting back in amongst them this season and seeing how things go? What, what are you sort of looking to get out of this summer? Um, first and foremost is to get back and be amongst those guys. That's what I'd like to do. That's sort of, that's sort of the minimum. And I feel I'm there. I feel I'm there and I'm, I'm sort of in that, in that shape to do that. Building on from that, obviously I think the Commonwealth would be would be a, a, main, a main sort of target off mine. And hopefully, if, if things pan, pan out, then I'll, I'll be in the mix to sort of make that. I think the Europeans, 336 was the standard, which is, um, I'm going to be brutally honest, I don't think I'll run, I think, I think I'll just be outside 336. And I think the Commonwealth is a really good sort of stepping stone um, to get towards maybe championships at three fourths of the time, so it's not quite as tough. The competition is sort of not maybe a notch down which is really really good for, for, for certainly British athletes and getting them and getting the feel of mixing it together. Sure. Um, yeah so in terms of me I think I can run there or there about the time. Uh, I think I can still mix it with, these, with, 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 with the top guys probably with the exception of Badley and Lancashire and maybe Brewer to a certain extent if he goes on after the form last year. But on that next bracket down then certainly there or there about um, and I've always tended to, I've always sort of tended to race quite well when it comes down to Sure, yeah, you've got a great championship record. And so. I, I've, I've always got into races, nine, and, and a, lot, so a lot of the times the guys are quicker than me who I race against on paper, TV wise, but I always tend to come out relatively alright against that because I do think, and as this, this is credit to George, is, is racing and getting ready for races and adopting the right sort of, sort of tactics. And I do think I sort of, sort of thrive, thrive on that rather than an hour and hour actually hammering it, hammering it, going go to the time. So in terms of tactics and, and racing well, I think I've also got that a bit of time to do this. So as I say, the, the Commonwealth will be fantastic and it was there about. And that, I mean, that, has, that sort of has to be the aim of it. If it wasn't, then it's not yeah. much point of doing it. So, sure. Um, yeah, Commonwealth would be, would be, would be really good. But we'll, we'll see how it Okay, good. So, just finally to start, when do you think, obviously, you're flying back to the UK now after you've been out here, what's the sort of race plans for the up and coming weeks? What is, where are we perhaps going to see you opening up and um, that you'd be perhaps targeting? Uh, Chatting to George, we've got a, a low-key race in Loughborough, which is a week before book. Um, so I'm going to do, um, do an 800 meters and uh, a 3K there, almost as, 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 as training, um, really, just, just sort of, um, break the, the sessions. So quite a low-key race there, they'll be booked 
1500, um, and that again would be quite a nice introduction to sort of champions at racing and keeps the round, that sort of quite nice. Um, and then after that, we'll be looking for the national, uh, either three k or fifty. Um, it depends what sort of shape I'm in. It depends on I've a good fifteen or not quite done what I want to do for fifteen. Uh, and then from there on in, we'll see what sort. Of, uh, a lot will be dependent on how quick you run early on. Probably, if you get a good time early on, then look to maybe punch on racing and over this the distance. Um, but yeah, it'll be books then up and that's what I definitely want to do. Good. Well, I say, obviously, great to see you back. You're 100% healthy, and we're hoping that things all go well this summer. And ideally, hopefully, I'll catch up with you again, someone further along the line, and we'll just see how things are going. So, thanks very much for your time.